गाइस वेलकम बैक टू जीव शास्त्र अभ्यास आई एम युअर एजुकेटर निरंजन हेगड़े सो टुडे व्हाट वी आर लर्निंग एंड व्हाट इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो टुडे वी आर लर्निंग अ टॉपिक व्हिच कैन व्हिच मे कम फॉर 5 टू 7 मार्क्स 5 टू 7 मार्क्स दैट इज माइक्रोब्स इन ह्यूमन वेलफेयर इन ह्यूमन वेलफेयर so you have learned about the microorganisms microbes are nothing but the microorganisms which you have learned in the first year syllabus so so this particular microorganisms how it can help the human development that is what this chapter is suggesting here and and uh, uh, this is uh, this is a chapter where we see a daily day to day uh, the microorganisms which we live with so that is the type of chapter it is and here almost everything is example based uh, answers so first first of all let's learn uh, microbes in human welfare what are different kinds of microorganisms we come across in a daily in our daily life like uh, bacteria virus virioids virioids fungi etc so these are the some of the common examples what we come across and uh, you have also learned in uh, human health and diseases that how these organisms may cause uh, the havoc on earth right now it has been causing by the a virus named as coronavirus virus which is also now named as covid-19 right so that particularly this type of uh, virus can cause uh, a havoc on earth a pandemic has been caused now so same as that we have been using these all the microorganisms in our benefit and we are developed we have been developing a benefit beneficial things uh, by these bacteria virus viruses and fungi and etc whatever the microorganisms are there so that we are going to discuss a positivity uh, based uh, uh, or positively approached based uh, a uh, chapter that is not a negative but like uh, like there is no diseases here we all the things are uh, the benefits what we get from this particular microbes so first of all i want to tell you that uh, we have been using this uh, uh, microorganisms uh, for our uh, benefits for, uh, by a very very uh, very very long time before itself uh, when harappa mohenjo daro uh, there, there there were fermentations alcohols have been uh, in that time only it has been developed so which suggests that uh, the alcohols has been pre prepared by mainly prepared by uh, these fermentation processes where bacteria is involved knowingly or unknowingly we have been using that particular technique so what it is is uh, here uh, we are going to discuss uh, around six categorized uh, uses where uh, different in different criteria where microbes microorganisms have been used and uh, we are going to discuss uh, two uses uh, in each video and we are going to complete this chapter in three uh, videos itself so uh, the first one we are we will discuss right now but before that microorganisms it can survive below 0 degree celsius even to 100 uh, 100 100 degree celsius above above that even uh, it it can survive in hot springs also it can survive so that is the type of organism these are so we have been using it for benefits how we have been using the benefits that is uh, the first one is uh, the benefit which we use in household you can see over here household benefits how we are using household benefits right now so let's see what it is first thing uh, daily day-to-day -day life we use uh, curd right we use curd how the curd is prepared so it is going to be fermented how it is going to be uh, converted so uh, milk is going to be milk is going to be exposed to air exposed to air so if we expose to air in the night uh, so mainly this particular bacteria that is lactic acid bacteria which you are going to which you are seeing here lactic acid bacteria which is also known as lab lab can be asked for one marks for your abbreviation thing so lactic acid bacteria that is lactic uh, lactobacillus bacillus is the bacteria which is going to convert which is going to convert what 
which is going to convert the milk into curd that's the first very very common use what you're going to do then the second use of uh, what is very familiar to us is uh, uh, the yeast that is baker's yeast right i'm going to write over here baker's yeast so uh, the bakery persons give us bread right bread cake okay and and we also use uh, uh, duff duff uh, for uh, for uh, pluff for pluffing means uh, for the pluffy nature of uh, dosas dos dose and uh, no it's not dosa okay it is dose uh, then uh, uh, cake uh, then pizza vagera vagera so for the fluffy nature that is the bacteria that is saccharomyces cervi cervicidae cervicidae that is the bacteria which is uh, uh, called as baker's yeast and in south southern india for the fermentation of a uh, uh, local alcohol that is known as toddy which is prepared from i think it is uh, it is prepared from a, a local uh, um, rice or uh, something like that so it is toddy so uh, which is uh, uh, which is being from southern india it is very famous uh, that is also in uh, uh, tamil nadu or, or andhra sites and uh, next time we also use uh, certain bacteria as for you uh, for uh, fermenting the fishes so uh, the the fish gives a very peculiar taste when it is fermented for a very long time so it is a, a very a very different taste from the uh, or uh, the fresh fish and the fermented fish then uh, we use uh, uh, for, for the for, for taking out the oil and the fermentation of soy so uh, soya bean also we use uh, bacteria and uh, mainly mainly that uh, particular uh, the main example here what we eat is cheese right cheese we eat uh, where uh, for the cheese there is a particular uh, you i think you have seen in tom and jerry sh uh, shows so the jerry is going to uh, sorry i'm going to do it the jerry is going to uh, take out the cheese from the kitchen right so where tom is going to catch it so always it is going to catch and uh, the mess up happens right so a uh, complete uh, scenario is very uh, uh, what we can say it is very uh, laughable right so you you know that so i am i am even i am right now i look uh, what that shows uh, that is there you can see a cubical shaped cheese right which a uh, lot of holes in that yes so that is uh, known as so swiss cheese swiss cheese it is known as what swiss cheese so which has been uh, which has been formed by Uh, which has been uh, fermented it is a fermented type that's why the holes are going to come because of the outlet of co2 from the cheese so which is uh, been uh, pro produced by this particular ba bacteria that is known as propi propioni bacterium propioni bacterium shermani what is that propioni bacterium shermani that is the bacteria which is been prepared Uh, which is helps in the preparation of swiss cheese and lastly it is a, a fungi a fungi is used for the preparation of racket cheese okay and the one here i am going to ask you a question so which is that fungi which is that fungi which is going to uh, helpful in the preparation of racket cheese please comment below the answer find out the answer and uh, uh, comment below that is the question for Uh, this video one of the question and uh, yes so we will move to the uh, next use okay next use uh, and that is in the industries when it comes to the industrial use uh, so that is uh, how the microorganisms are used in industries so mainly there are two ways of uh, um, using the microorganisms in industry only two that is first one majorly used like that one is fermentation of beverages and another one is antibiotics let's learn what is first thing uh, antibiotics we are going to learn this one so first of all what is uh, and uh, what is antibiotics let's learn that antibiotics is a greek word which uh, says that against life the serum or the vaccination or the chemical which is uh, against the life 
that means again is the life which causes uh, the diseases so that it means so in in human terms it means like that but exact answer is again is the life so uh, the major one we what you will what we look at it is uh, the penicillin the penicillin was the major discovery uh, as an antibiotic for most of the uh, most of the antigens so uh, for boosting the antibiotic production in our body penicillin is used so it is extensively used in world war 2 for the american soldiers for uh, uh, for their uh, injuries and this was firstly discovered by Ale alexander fleming and uh, he was studying on the majorly on uh, the streptococcus pneumonia bacteria streptococcus pneumoniae he was studying on that particular uh, bacteria and uh, and he observed that there was a patch of uh, for this is a petri dish if so it is it, if it is an unwashed petri dish so somewhere somewhere here a patch of fungi has grew on this particular patch where there was no streptococcus pneumonia was seen uh, and he observed that what what is the what is the reason for it and he observed that the chemical released by the chemical released by that particular fungi uh, uh, destroyed that particular bacteria streptococcus pneumonia and uh, and he named that as penicillin the chemical he named it as penicillin after the species penicillium notatum penicillium notatum so that was the fungi which grew on the petri dish on moisture petri dish of him so uh, this was uh, extensively used in uh, world war ii okay so this is a main major example if 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 you know more uh, uh, the antibiotic producing bacteria please comment below that is the another question of this study uh, today that is a, a given example other than penicillin uh, for the antibiotics production through the microorganisms okay then when we come to the uh, fermented beverages beverages means rum whiskey brandy wine so this uh, this was very very popularly used bacteria are there so and this is a popularly used beverages from since from the uh, uh, Harappan uh, uh, civilization where uh, mainly the wine was prepared and uh, the local variety of bang was pre prepared so the wine was prepared in France uh, where uh, during the during the again during the world war one itself uh, to uh, uh, to heal uh, this particular wounds mainly ethanol is taken out to clean the wounds uh, mainly the wine is uh, fermented a lot of uh, for, for a lot of years it has been fermented and wine and uh, uh, the the wine doesn't requires any distillation process so mainly it is done in a fermenters which you are now looking at the uh, uh, screen uh, on the on the screen you are looking at the particular fermenters which is used for the taking out rum whiskey and uh, uh, all these uh, beverages and mainly rum whiskey and brandy requires what it requires the distillation process okay to get a pure brandy or a rum or a, but wine doesn't require it it just requires the fermentation so how many days you per ferment how many years you ferment so that much stronger the wine will be because of the activity of the bacteria uh, that is mainly saccharomyces cervicidae again which is also known as uh, beaver's yeast or baker's yeast uh, and uh, made may uh, used in a bread preparation same uh, saccharomyces saccharomyces cervicidae is used in the uh, fermenting the beverages so this is the industrial use if you have any doubt comment below and another thing that is uh, this is the first video of this chapter that is microbes in human welfare and i am going to cover up this uh, by day after tomorrow itself so uh, do remember to read all the uh, mainly the examples do keep remember write it take it out and uh, uh, you will you will remember it otherwise it is very uh, uh, hard to remember because uh, there are a lot of uh, scientific names are involved here and another thing that is uh, you need to uh, go through this chapter because it's a crucial for five to six marks or seven marks
things one marks uh, questions come uh, a lot and uh, even the two marks but uh, as a whole of the five marks it is very hard to come but uh, two three and one marks questions are more is going to come so uh, concentrate on this chapter and we will meet in the next video uh, by discussing the other two uh, uses in uh, for for human welfare so until next time let's grew together uh, and jai hind once again once again i forgot to tell you one thing that is if you are new to this channel subscribe to the channel press the bell icon for the notification of the new video and if you are if you are a subscriber just push a like button and sayonara